Middle Steel Company NV was one of the world's largest steel producers by volume, and also one of the largest in turnover. The Indian-owned company is now part of ArcelorMittal, CEO Lakshmi Middle's family owned 88% of the company. Middle Steel was based in Rotterdam but managed from London by Middle and his son Aditya. It was formed when Ispat International NV acquired LNM Holdings NV both were already controlled by Lakshmi Middle and merged with International Steel Group in 2004. On 25 June 2006, Middle Steel decided to take over Arcelor, with the new company to be called Arcelor Middle. The takeover has been successfully approved by shareholders and directors of Arcelor making LN. Middle the largest steel maker in the world. Topic history It was formed as ISPAT International in 1978, at the time it was part of the Indian steel making company ISPAT Industries which was founded by Lakshmi Middle's father and was owned by his family, but in 1995 it separated from that company after various disagreements between Lakshmi and his father. In 1989, the company acquired Iron and Steel Company of Trinidad and Tobago. In 1992, the company acquired Sabalsa. In 1994, the company acquired Sidbeck Dosco. In 1995, the company acquired Hamburger Stahlwerk, which formed Ispat International Limited and Ispat Shipping, and also bought Karmat Steel of Temertau, Kazakhstan. In 1997, the company acquired Walsdraht Hochfeld GmbH and Stallwerk Ruhrort. In 1997, the company went public as Ispat International NV. In 1998, the company acquired Inland Steel Company. In 1999, the company acquired Unimetal. In 2001, the company acquired ALFASID and Sidex. In 2002, it bought a majority stake in Icecore. In 2003, the company acquired Nawa Huda. In 2004, the company acquired Polsky Hutti Stali, BH Steel, and certain Macedonian facilities from Balkan Steel. In 2005, the company hired Deloitte as the primary auditors for the company. In 2005, the company acquired International Steel Group. In 2005, the company acquired Crevorisol. In 2005, the company announced the investment of $9 billion in Jharkhand, India. In 2006, the company merged with Arcelor after much controversy. In 2006, the company announced investment for a 12 million ton capacity steel plant in Odisha, India. The steelmaking on which Middle built his fortune is a polluting process. Altogether a toxic mix of more than 100 chemicals is known to be emitted by steel mills. Recent Canadian research has shown that this mix not only affects all forms of life around the mills, but goes down to the genetic level in the form of hereditary DNA damage. In the case of the Vanderlpark steel works liquid wastes from Icecore were pumped into unlined evaporation dams. Much of the effluent found its way underground, carrying a load of undissolved and some toxic substances such as cadmium. According to chemical professor Philip Lloyd, by the late 1950s it was apparent that the polluted water was escaping from the property and threatening the neighbors, mostly small farmers who depended on underground water for farming and domestic use. Lloyd, 1999-26, according to an anonymous Icecore insider, whistleblower, Icecore management manipulates the results of water tests. They show themselves to be concerned but what they say and what they do are very different things. Pollution is not a high priority. Lots of data is available but is not being utilized. Nothing is being implemented. Good quality vol water is used to dilute the water used in the production process so as to comply with the Water Act permit, carte blanche program. 
According to ecologist Peter Van Eden, I-Score is not serious about environmental issues. I told them, we're not only making steel, we're killing people as well. Greater than. Topic. Bids and acquisitions In October 2005 Middle Steel acquired Ukrainian steel manufacturer Kravorysel for $4.8 billion in an auction after a controversial earlier sale for a much lower price to a consortium including the son-in-law of ex-president Leonid Kuchma was cancelled by the incoming government of President Viktor Yushchenko. In 2005 Lakshmi Middle flew into Jharkhand, India to announce a $9 billion investment to build a greenfield steel plant with a 12 million tons per annum production capacity. On 27 January 2006 it announced a $23.3 billion 18.6 billion euros, 12.7 billion pounds bid for Arcelor. On 19 May 2006 Middle increased its offer for Arcelor by 38.7% to $32.4 billion, or $47.34 per share 25.8 billion euros, 37 euros and 74 cents per share. On 25 June 2006 Arcelor, in a board meeting announced that it has accepted a further sweetened offer $50.68 or €40.40 Euros and, 40 cents per share and the new company would now be called Arcelor Middle, thus successfully ending one of the most controversial and publicized takeover bids in modern corporate history. ArcelorMittal is now by far the largest steelmaker in the world by turnover as well as volume, controlling 10% of the total world steel output. 1. See also ArcelorMittal Arcelor Tadeusz Senjimir Steelworks <laughs>